So here's a job we did. This was at Pepperdine University on a commercial spa. This is from the leak detection. We found a leak in the main drain, which is very deep. And again, here's where we validated it with a camera. So again, it's in the main drains. Here we are taking the drain cover off and getting ready to hypoxy this thing. We always like to take a look with our camera on any job we do. Again, even after the fact, get our depths and everything. First, we're gonna blow that line out. We're gonna get that line nice and dry. Here we're blowing it back from the equipment to the actual empty spa. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sanding disc and we're gonna prep the pipe. This pipe is leaking a couple of feet back and we're gonna clean that out and get it nice and shaved, primed and clean and ready to accept the Pipoxy product. After that, we're hooking up our standpipe and we're blowing actually from the other side, getting any of that debris that we cleaned, that we shaved out. So now we're getting our brush set up. And again, our brush hooks up to the auger and it's getting ready to go in. Before we do that, we mix up our Pipoxy and when we do so, we do it on a drop cloth to make sure that we don't get, you know, we don't damage the surface of the pool or wherever we're working. Again, get it nice and clean. It comes with the mixer so to be able to do that. Here, we're going to measure our stuff out and we're pouring in half the mix. That's what this pipe diameter and the length back is actually calling for. So we measure it out. We pour in our pipoxy and now we're going to get ready to brush it. And here's the brush going in. With the brush going in, we're going to go all the way down and we're going to pass about a foot of the leak. We're going to come back. We're going to go forward. And then after that, we're gonna come all the way back again and we're gonna show you here. We get our brush out and then we get ready to do our clean. But before that, we're gonna give you a quick snapshot of what that pipe looks like after we coated. It was a successful repair. We're gonna clean our tips. We Again, we have Tupperware ready with lacquer thinner in it so that we could put our stuff in it and then come back to clean it a little bit after the fact and it keeps everything nice and solvent. Hook up our dryer. In this case, we're gonna let it run 24 hours. Um, you could run it for four hours, but again, if we could give it that extra time, we do. Here, we're plugging it up and we're gonna get ready to do our pressure test. And when we pressure test, our pressure test is gonna be done with air only. The reason why we do that is, is if we have to come back and do another coat, we don't have to blow out the pipe again. In this case, we pressured it up. Here's our pressure. It's holding no problem whatsoever. So this was a successful job done with the Pipoxy system. Here we're putting it all back together and we're gonna get ready to fill it. We do so, we just actually emptied it from the pool back to the spa and when we drain the spa, we put it in the pool. Here's it running off the suction line, no air whatsoever. So this here was a great successful job done with the Pipoxy system.